3 November 2022. Welcome to the Doc Nomad Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, DA. Thank you for tuning in. On today's episode of Nomad Kicks, we're going to be talking about the Nike Air Jordan 1 patent leather OG. This shoe is phenomenal. Beautiful, wonderful shoe. Always love this shoe, especially when they laced it with the patent leather. We're going to have some fun with it, and we're going to talk about it. Let's go ahead and dive into the history of the Nike Air Jordan 1. The Jordan 1 was banned by then NBA commissioner David Stern because it violated the league's strict uniform code. Nike capitalized on the opportunity and paid for Michael Jordan's fine, which equated to $5,000 per game, to play in the most rebellious shoe the league has ever seen. Now, now this shoe, I'm telling you, I remember a little bit um, when they banned this shoe, they had an old school commercial, the Nike commercial, and they had like a little black outline on the shoe, you know, trying to hide the shoe. This shoe, I'm telling you, a lot of folks, man, a lot of bad things happen wearing this shoe, and I'll talk about that, but Nike and the Air Jordan 1 tore the roof off the sneaker game back in the mid 80s. Now, let's talk about some style and pricing. The Air Jordan 1 hybrid patent leather features black and red patent leather uppers with signature Nike Air Tongue. From there, a classic Wings logo on the collar and a white with red air sole completes the retro design. The Air Jordan 1 high patent leather was released in December 2021 for $170. Now, I will tell you, this shoe, man, I always talk about these shoes being phenomenal and all that. I'm going to change that up. This is an outstanding shoe. If you look at the toe box here, traditional Nike, old school, mid-80s toe box with all the air holes inside of it, right? Now, again, like I stated earlier, originally this shoe was not patent leather. It was not patent leather. It was just regular leather material. Patent leather kind of came on in the 80s and then they kind of added this later on with this. But initially this shoe was not patent leather. Old school Nike logo right here with the Air Jordan wings on it. Now you look at the tongue here. Old school Nike with the throat. Now this material here is an old school Nike feel. Anybody familiar with the Nike Cortez? It feels like an old school Nike Cortez tongue. This was the tongue of the 80s. The Dunks and all these old school retro Nikes had this sort of tongue. As you can see here all the holes, the eyelets here. The bottom of the shoe, classic Air Jordan 1. Old school Nike 80s bottom. Look at the inside of the shoe, same thing, minus the wing. Got this little latch over here, the upper here, Nike logo, the swoosh sign. This shoe personifies mid-1980s Nike basketball shoes because a lot of their basketball sneakers from back in the mid-80s were designed from this silhouette, from the Air Jordan, from the Dunk, and all those other ones, big Nikes. But I'll tell you, this shoe right here actually comes with red shoe strings. Probably never wear those. Now, if you're talking about you want to go to a comfort level with these shoes, these are not the most comfortable shoes to wear. They are not. These shoes are hard, man. Michael Jordan had a game back in 98 where he wore a pair of the other colors um, in a basketball game. He had blisters covering his feet because the technology has changed. The materials has changed. The softness, the hardness of the silhouettes and the trims and all that. All those things have been changed. They've been modernized. They've been advanced. So when you're wearing an old school shoe like this and you try to play ball in it, you'll be in the world of hurt. Now, just wear this shoe, rocking it on the regular. Do not try to play basketball in this shoe because as much as I enjoy in the Warren Air Jordans throughout my, the history of life, ever since they've been invented, they are the, some of the worst basketball playing shoes. Fashion-wise, they're great. Basketball-wise, these shoes are some of the most uncomfortable shoes to wear. But gosh, dog, when we're talking about style and fashion and uniqueness and all those things, the Nike Air Jordan 1. Great shoe, man. The backing, the bottom, the sides, the toe box, everything about this shoe. Patent leather. Patent leather. Now let's talk about my historical memories with this shoe. 
I will tell you, 1984, 85, 86, when you talk about those years, growing up in Detroit, the west side of Detroit, when you had a pair of Air Jordans, you were suspect to get jumped, shot, all any negative connotation you want to associate with shoes. This shoe had it. They carried it. They ran articles about this shoe. People were dying over this shoe. Senseless, stupid, didn't make any sense, right? But that's the society we grew up in, and especially guys, that got men and women that grew up in those areas like I did. And I will tell you, the main people that were wearing these shoes were basketball players, neighborhood dudes, neighborhood alligators, if you know what that means, the drug dealers, all these guys were wearing Air Jordan. And it was almost like a status symbol. You know how your dad, when you get a good job, he buys a Cadillac. Back in those days, if you wore a pair of Jordans and some of those 80s retro shoes, some of those 80s shoes, uh, that was the equivalent of buying a Cadillac. It was a status symbol. And when you wore a pair of these, everybody knew who you were. Hey, that's the kid that got the, the, the J's, the Jordan 1's and all that. And I uh, brought a lot of positive attention because you were the man uh, but a lot of uh, brought a lot of negative attention because oh you trying to be the man nonetheless I have a lot of deep history deep rooted history with this shoe uh, I had this shoe and I tell you it was on pins and needles my parents didn't want me to wear these shoes and things of that nature uh, and a lot of friends I had they got jumped over these shoes but nonetheless trying to move forward and add a historical reference at the same time this is a beautiful shoe a lot of negativity came with this shoe but all that withstanding nike did a great job in designing this shoe uh, they did the damn thing they did the damn thing with this freaking shoe the air jordan one high og patent leather class personified baby you want to look at the 80s you want to have an old school 80s classic you got one right here you got one right here i appreciate you guys tuning in today on this episode of nomad kicks remember nomad kicks every thursday i will talk about and highlight a particular shoe from the past a retro a vintage or just something i have in my collection it's all part of doc nomad productions youtube channel please like subscribe and follow share and tell a friend until we meet again thanks for tuning in Thanks for watching. Godspeed. All the best.